Hello everybody, this is Jason Blake from Mock Motion, and welcome to another Mock Motion Minute. So let's talk about who Mock Motion is. Mock Motion provides industrial retrofits and controls. They also provide specialty solutions for applications and processes that require unique control solutions. Additionally, Mock Motion provides top of the line consulting and support. They are dedicated to their customers and deliver high end products and services. Please visit them at mockmotion.com. Next, let's talk about what Fusion 360 is. Autodesk has developed a cloud-based 3D CAD CAM software platform for product development. The software is capable of industrial and mechanical design, simulation, collaboration, and machining. Autodesk Fusion 360 is free. If you're a small business making less than $100,000 per year, an enthusiast, hobbyist, or student using it for non-commercial purposes or education, please visit them at autodesk.com. If you'd like to follow along, we have provided the source files. Check the description below, along with additional resources you will need to get started. Let's talk about how to download the files. Once you click on the link, it will take you to this page here. And in the top right hand corner, there's a download button. Click that and then the Fusion 360. Fusion 360 allows for an entire work process in collaboration with syncing and timeline support for your project. Data can both be saved locally and remotely to prevent any loss of progress or data. Every time you save, the system will attach a version number and store that file. At any point, you can compare changes between two versions and merge the changes at any time. Let's talk about the CAD files and some blueprints and layouts. First, let's open up our projects. And I've just opened up the logo cut drawing here. And you'll notice that we have a width of 18 inches, a length of six inches, and a height of a half an inch. It is very easy to create 2D drawings from 3D models inside of Fusion 360. This allows you to generate PDFs, DWGs, and DXF documents. This is also a great way to describe measurements. Let's go over to our 3D object here. Let's get started by opening up our logo cut file. First thing we will do is change our workspace as Fusion 360 allows us to sculpt, model, patch, simulate, and much more. We need to change our workspace to CAM. So in the upper left hand corner, you'll see our list of different workspaces and we're gonna change that down to the, to close to the second to the bottom to CAM. If you notice as I scroll over, an image will kind of briefly, there's a description and an image to kind of give you an idea of what each of them will do. So we'll choose CAM. Now we'll set up and create our tool paths. There are a number of different modes ranging from 2D, 3D drilling, and much more. But we'll start out simple and create a 2D adaptive clearing operation. Under the 2D menu, hovering your mouse over each different option, you'll notice a small pop-up showing you a brief description of what the tool path will do along with an image. Choose the 2D Adaptive Clearing option. You will see a window to the right with five steps. These steps are always the same to keep things easy to remember. It starts off with your tool, geometry, heights, passes, and any kind of linking. It all starts with the tool path selection. Let's choose our tool. By clicking the select button, a list of available tools will open up. Let's choose sample inch, aluminum, quarter inch, end mill. Depending on your machine setup, you might change the other settings on this tab, but for now, we'll move on to the second tab called geometry. Choosing the right geometry to generate a successful tool path is so very important. Fusion 360 is intuitive and will give you a yellow box around the part to be machined. For a facing operation, we don't need to select any geometry, but in our case, we need to select the area we want to clear. Let's click the wood base. We will now have blue lines indicating the tool path. Let's click the OK button. 
will now see a 3D representation of the tool including the collet. Always simulate twice and cut once. Simulations are the most underrated and underused software technology in the CAM, but the most important function to utilize. If you take the time to set up your simulation environment, it can save you a lot of broken tools and wasted material. Fortunately, Fusion 360 makes it very easy and a topic we'll cover in another article. But let's click the Simulate button under Actions. Let's show our stock if it's not shown already. Now let's click the play button right here at the bottom of our Fusion 360 to watch the simulation. If you set up vices or your machine build plate, you can check off the stop on collisions. Another helpful function is the simulation can be jumped to any point in the timeline, kind of like a YouTube video. Let's talk about our post-processor perfection. Post-processors are like American accents. Each might sound a bit different, but they all follow the standard English language, or in the case of G-Code, ISO standards. The post-processor file is one of the most important steps to get right. The reason being is it's essentially converting what you see on your computer screen into G-Code, and that's all the machine really cares about. Mock Motion has spent a lot of time working on their post-processors and has a team of experts that make sure our post-processors will work well with Mock Motion products. So let's go and download our post-processor here. Let's go to our cam.autodesk.com forward slash post forward slash. The URL will be uh, a link in the description. We'll first go to Autodesk post-processor library and download our Mach 4 post-processor. To make it easier to find, let's type in Mach at the top. We'll choose our generic Mach 4 mill and click the download button. Let's choose a desktop to make it easy to find. Now that we've saved our post processor to the desktop, we should have a mock 4 milcps Let's go to the top of the CAM menu and we'll click on the actions, choose post processor. Let's click the setup button and click open folder. This will open a folder and this is where all of your post processors live. Next, we're going to open a folder so we can grab it off the desktop where we've saved it. I'm going to drag and drop it from this window to this folder. And I'm going to replace the file in the destination since I already had it there. Now that that file exists there, we'll be able to choose it from our drop down as one of our post processor options. Let's choose the Mach 4 mil.cps generic Mach 4 mil. Type a name of the program. Let's, for example, do test one. Any kind of comments that you'd like to leave, let's, let's describe what we're cutting a logo and with a quarter inch end mill. Now we'll click. If you do have any additional changes that you'd like to make to the post processor to match up your machine or different functionalities, we'll go over that in another video. But here is where you would modify those. So we're going to click the post. It'll ask us where we want to save it to and let's do the desktop. At this case, the Autodesk Fusion 360 uses brackets to display our G-Code viewer and editor. It's kind of like Notepad++. Let's do a quick overview of the code to make sure everything looks correct. Let's make some wood chips. I like to use a USB drive to transfer my G-Code file to my machine computer. But in a later article, we will show you how to set up a wireless file, file transfer to make it super easy and fast. Find the .tap file that you named and created from the last step. Drag and drop this file into your USB drive and insert that drive into your computer. Let's start up Mock Motion's control interface. And let's load the G code. We'll go up to the top left under File, click on Open G code file, find it on our desktop, find the dot tap, and open it up. 
I hope this helps you get the most out of your software with your mock motion router or mill hardware. As always, we appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're not already, please subscribe to receive notifications for new videos and articles. Please visit us at mockmotion.com. And this is Jason Blake wishing you a great day, and we'll talk to you later. Thank you very much.